Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche. And we are here once again on our uh, one of our midway islands. We'll probably head off to this snow island after this and see if we can find uh, another creature frozen in the ice that would hopefully have that oh so elusive armor body. And uh, before we get started, I just want to say a few things. So we have our whole tribe here. It's quite small at the moment, only 10 creatures. Uh, but I just want to say uh, real fast, um, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm just probably going to release this and then some footage from yesterday of another thing today because my voice is sort of dying. Um, I've been straining it a little bit too much lately. I think I've been do trying, I pushed myself really hard with the recording for a while there and I think it uh, uh, caused some problems. <laughs> so my voice has been a little strained recently and I'm probably not going to record as much this week because I'm going to try and rest it. So hopefully we'll still have niche uh, pretty much daily. But uh, for the time being, I'm not going, I mean, not do as much with our other series. Uh, so that said, you can find out more about that in the update video. But I'm going to go ahead and start a new day since none of these guys have moves. <laughs> and uh, let's see. So basically what we want to do now is uh, on Isis needs to breed and I want to clear up something that caused some confusion with you guys last time and when I talk about a creature having good genetics or bad genetics I'm not talking about it as a whole so some of you guys are saying but but Jay and I and Isis does not have good genetics she has the short-sighted eyes she has the no horns and antlers she has lower fertility and so the thing with that is when I say good or bad genetics I'm talking about for our goal well our goal with these creatures is a creature with the horns with the tail with these saber fangs and uh, with the armor body. Now, I also want to get a cracker jaw line that has the runner leg and a cracker jaw instead of the saber fangs so that we're not totally helpless when it comes to collecting. Uh, but when I say a creature has good or bad genetics, that is what I'm referring to. Uh, not their genetics overall. So they could still have good genetics and I would say they have bad genetics because it's bad for our tribe. So we had some uh, confusion concerning that and I just wanted to clear that up now. So with that said, let's look at the genetics of the creatures and the immunity genes specifically of the males. So I want to breed, I don't, I'm not going to breed Rota. I'm going to bring Rota over here actually. Oh, and you are not going to, you're a female so you're kind of uh, not necessarily a factor in this whole breeding equation for the moment. Uh, you will be. Uh, but let's see. So you only have one uh, one claw. So we're not going to... Our one claw creatures, we're probably... We're not going to breed with her at least. Because we want to get her saber fangs into our good... Um, our good genetic family. And I'm actually going to because if we look at her eyesight and her hind legs are bad. I'm actually going to go back to the mutation menu and put in the good eyesight and the good hind legs. The webbed hind legs aren't necessarily bad, but like I said, they're bad for our tribe because we have a land-based tribe. Here they are. So we want to try and mutate those things in. So, let's see. So she has the D immunity, and unless we have a male, I don't think any of our potential breeding males, it's actually just these two, have it. So, Let's look at our females because, well, and all our creatures, well, we have mostly females, so I want to see if there is a immunity gene that is less common to them. Actually, never mind. These guys have absolutely identical immunity. That's a problem. Uh, you are actually going to come up here and help gather, and I'm going to actually move all the females off into the grasses as well and have a lot of them. Well, I'm going to have Isray stick around. Isray might breed with uh Rororo here if they have yeah they have different immunity so I want to breed Isra and Rororo before they get too old as well we got to remember to do that so I'm just gonna look at these guys do they have they have virtually identical genetics uh Rokir's already here so I'm gonna breed them and she did get pregnant that's good let's come up this way and I'm actually gonna put Rokir up here so with that said, I want to start breeding these guys as soon as next turn rolls around. So let's see, we have a lot of nesting material and let's look at the baby. So the baby got pretty good genetics. Um, we're going to have to <laughs> do the frustrating task of breeding the hammer tail, saber tooth fangs, and megaloceros horns in though. Uh, and that can be a little bit irritating. So let's get you up on this stump. Wow, uh, we can see a lot from here. And uh, Isis, are you guys? Yeah, they're too closely related to breed even when she gets older. Uh, so let's, we'll leave you here. We'll have you gather. 
and then I'm gonna actually I'm gonna bring her over here yeah and the breeding worked so we're gonna start uh, breeding them and let's move Anaisis up here Oop, and it didn't work that is the downside of her having lower immunity but I'm sure that will clear itself up as we get into further generations of breeding but we just need to make sure these guys I'm gonna put him on alpha as well uh, but I want we really want to make sure that these guys uh, get some of those saber fangs into their children <laughs> so let's see and we really need to make sure those get passed on which there's a hundred percent chance they'll be passed on recessively so that is a good thing and we have fish we can gather we have a leech we can kill that actually worked out really well and we'll go ahead and start a new day I'm not used to having such a small tribe that's always a um, a sudden kind of a change so let's go ahead we'll breed them we'll make a nest here and you got pretty good genetics yeah pretty good genetics overall although uh, did not unfortunately it got the big nose instead of cracker jaw so let's make sure we gather because Isra does not have long left to live so we need to make sure and let's look at uh, unfortunately he got that uh, immunity gene that's it's not a bad immunity gene it's just the same so for now we really need to get that collector line going because we don't have many collectors. So let's see. Let's move uh, Ro Rokirkir this way. Keep breeding. And uh, we'll start breeding them back in. Uh, we may breed them either depending on if they get differing immunity. Uh, oh, Korra! We haven't had a Korra in this family for a long time. Or, well, or at least maybe we have and I have. But uh, remember back uh, in the original island, we had one Korra who is especially notable. <laughs> and uh, she was one of our founding creatures, I believe. That has been a long time. That was way back in the early episodes. Uh, but yes, unfortunately she got Velvet Paw. But we may... Uh, we, we Basically, we might have to breed these guys amongst themselves. But otherwise, uh, we want to make sure that we can start breeding the double claws, the horns, and the tail back in. So I am a little bit scattered at the moment. I do apologize for that. I feel I feel slightly scattered. <laughs> and oh good, okay. So let's move move on out of here. Let's make sure we can gather. And then we'll come back over here. And then we'll breed them. There we go. And let's look at you. Did you you keep getting this big nose? Why? This is her last turn, her last chance. And oh boy, yeah, this could go badly. I'm actually gonna leave her up here, and let's continue to explore. The swamps, I think, are not as bad for illness as they used to be, so that is a good thing at least. Let's come up here. Oh, here is another berry bush. That's always good to see. Come up here, gather and gather, and a rock here, here. Maybe you can clear away that grass. And then we had Kanuro. Okay, Kanuro is interesting. Um, still has similar immunity though, so we got to keep breeding them. And let's we'll go ahead and start a new day. We're gonna lose our mother over here. Oh, we had another female. Oh boy. Uh, but these guys. Okay, so we could breed. And again, dang it, why? This cracker jaw will not pass on. Ah, it's frustrating. Okay, but I think we could breed Nuvon and um, Israna. Uh, and in the meantime, Maze May. I'm actually going to move him over here. No, I'm not. I'm just going to. Ha I'll have him destroy one of these nests, though. Uh, but in the meantime, Maze May can uh, help with collecting at the very least. So let's come over here. Oh, you can't help with collecting either. So we are slowly losing food, but it's not too terrible a, of a rate at the moment. Let's see if we can catch this clown koi. Yes, we can. And keep moving over this way. So we're going to keep migrating in this direction towards these ports and probably set up camp sort of over there. So let's see. And we had Lassie. And those guys have very similar immunity. And how are these guys, though? These guys could actually breed. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. I'm going to breed these guys again just a few more times so that we can perhaps have multiple pairs of saber fang creatures set up. Or uh, kind of um, set up. We can get multiple pairs of saber fang creatures, hopefully, to uh, start breeding, perhaps. 
and we'll keep moving this way. And let's see. So the other thing is possibly with some of the ones that have the good uh, feet, we can move them back. We could maybe even mix them in with this line. I don't know. We'll have to see. So we're going to start a new day. All right. Oh, that water's deeper than I thought it was. I am so sorry, sweetie. Oh, and here is another nest. All right, man, you can gather up all this grass. And you can come over here. I'm going to breed them a few more times. I'm probably not going to breed them every day until she dies, though. So, let's see. Nuvon and Izrana are going to breed. And I'm going to take you off, Alpha, because you're not going to be breeding anymore. Um, and uh, let's see. Nuvon can come over. I'm actually, Or I'll bring Nuvon this way. And then uh, Maze May is going to come up this way. And is Rana is going to start moving this way. And I'll have these guys start moving probably to this nest area. And you can continue collecting. And we'll keep moving this way. Here's another. And we can continue to explore. I'm actually going to cut this one down because we don't have... Well, I guess we could bring uh, Isisi's... Isi... Isisi, excuse me, over. And I wonder if Armor Body would actually... I'm going to take her off... Unless, is there a reason we wanted to breed? we got to be careful with the immunity, too. So we have G and D, H and F. And uh, we can maybe mix some of the other ones in as well. Uh, are you the only one with E immunity? No, you have E immunity. E immunity, A immunity. Do we have, you have F immunity. You don't have any special immunity genes either. So uh, let's continue on. Oh, we'll, we'll gather this. A clown koi. Here's a bunny. And you guys have been telling me the bunnies can camouflage, which I did not know. Uh, but that is very, very good to know. And I keep forgetting to use the family tree to uh, figure out what creatures have what genes. I'm still not used to being able to do that, although it is a very nice feature. I hear you. Oh, we did not actually breed you, did we? I think we're actually going to be done with this nesting area. Too. Well, no, maybe we won't. We'll, we'll keep breeding them a little bit. And where is this foolish carnivore? Oh, right here. Uh, yeah, you picked on the wrong creatures. Uh, you're done. Alright, let's go over here. And let's see, are these the two we wanted to breed? No. We wanted to breed... Lassie. And Rot Rotakir. So we're gonna come, we're gonna bring her this way. And they can sit up in that grass over there uh, as the time comes for them to both be old enough to breed. There we go, come up here, you can fish. So we're doing okay on food so far. We are losing it slowly, uh, but that is kind of to be expected at this point until we have more creatures that can collect. And these guys, I'm actually gonna move them this way. And I know we kind of had, um, we'll, we'll move them this way and see if we can find, we were, we're gonna maybe put them in that nest, but we'll see if we can find another nest too. Uh, we'll have to see. And you are pregnant. That's good. And we'll go ahead and start a new day. And we lost our creature here. Oh, I probably should have had her gather that cactus with her last turn. Uh, we'll continue to gather here. You can come over here. And you can come up here. Maybe I'll put her... Well, I can put... Oh, here's a bunny. We'll put that some of these guys by those berry bushes. And then... Wait. Is Rana... And Nuvon, okay, that's these guys, are going to come over this way, and this way, and then the Rotakir, I believe, and yeah, and Lassie are going to come here, and then when she's old enough to breed, uh, we will breed them and try to get a Cracker Jaw line started. Cracker Jaw seems to be recessive, which is kind of a bummer. So let's see. I want this. I want to get rid of the big nose eventually, because even though it is nice and it is kind of helpful, it's not going to get us um, any food. So let's see. Let's come over here. Come over here. We'll keep breeding these guys. We had two that are like identical goodness. And uh, oh, that's the thing too. Is let's look at mm, where is our parrot? It's, is it? It's Nuvon. Cora, are you? How did you take damage? The carnivore maybe hit her. The carnivore must have hit her. 
All right, let's see. So it was Israna. Yeah, and Nivon. So good eyes, good feet. Good eyes, good feet. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. Um, wait. No. Hold on. It was it. What in the world am I looking at? Hold on. Wait. Oh, no. This is our saber. Uh, oh, this is our saber line. Okay. No, these are the ones that are we're breeding for Cracker Jaw. Okay, I'm less confused now. Sorry about that. Uh, so these guys are the ones we're breeding for uh, this. And we'd like to try and get. So we have B and A, D and E. What other genetics do we have in this line? Uh, let's look at the immunity. If we go to the family tree, can we look at attribute? Let's see. Collecting, digging, camouflage, strength, poisonous, venomous. What is this? Speed, hearing, smelling, sight, heat resistance, cold resistance, defense, blood clotting, cracking, fishing, swimming, underwater breathing, feeding from the bottom, spikiness, stealth, scentless, distasteful scent, distasteful appearance, and fertility. Can we sort by immunity genes? If we look here, we can. Okay, so I think these are all the ones we have in the family. So we have A, B, F, G, H, I. Do it. None of them have it. Oh, they, we haven't had all these in the family. It's all the possible ones, though. All right, so we don't have these in the family. So E. All right, I I'm, think I'm going to get... Okay, I'm getting a little confused, so let's see. What genes do these guys... So D, E, B, and A are all represented. So A, B. So we need F. We might want to work on breeding some of them in. Possibly. Uh, probably not as Rana. Probably not Rota. Or Ro Ro Ro. Oh, great. It's all the cracking line that has this. Possibly Rota. Who's better? Rota or Ro 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 is going to be better. Yeah, Ro Ro Ro. Are you still. You're still alive. Uh, quickly. We need to breed you with a uh, who? Um. Does did your daughter get it though? Is Rana? She got immunity. It was uh, looking for F. Yes, I think immunity F. We could breed Is Rana if we needed to with Is Rana if we needed to with these guys. Uh, so maybe we'll have these guys set up pretty close. I think that's what we'll do to keep that one in. Oops, that's the mutation menu. And then I'm still figuring this out, bear with me. G, I think we had, right? Do we have it? No, it's not in there either. It's, hmm. I probably want to work on getting some of those bred in as well. We're gonna want, well, we don't want the saber fangs in everyone. That's what's difficult about this. We don't want the saber fangs in all of our creatures. Just in some. Hmm. Things to think about. I'm gonna start a new day. Okay. So let's gather. And then Coco. Keep breeding these guys. And then do we have a second pair yet? Let's see. That's a nice Kirkirvan. They're too similar. B and E. Okay, we could breed these guys. What about you? They're too similar. Yeah, we'll breed Kutaku and uh, Coco. We'll set them up as a breeding pair as well, so we could probably stop breeding these guys pretty soon here. And I'm actually going to put Maze May down here, and she can help gather. And then when this bush grows back... She'll be able to help there, too. We'll continue to venture out this way. And these guys are not quite old enough to breed. And these guys, I'm going to look and see. Oh, as luck would have it, we have another nest. Uh, that is excellent news, because we're probably going to uh, swap them around a little bit and a breed between these different pairs a little bit So let to get the immunity genes diversified. So we'll go ahead and start a new day, yep. And our food supply is dropping, 
So we gotta get this collector line going. There's a carnivore somewhere up here. Alright. Uh, you can move over here, perhaps. Yep. There we go. What? Who? No. You're sick, too. Get out of here. Get out of here. What? Kukirku, who are you? Huh. Hmm. He has albinism and melanism. That's interesting. I don't want to breed him, but I'm going to invite him in because he can help us with collecting. He's a little bit older at the moment, but he can help with collecting. So with that said, Lassie is now old enough to breed. So let's breed them. And uh, Israna is old enough to breed as well. So we will breed these guys. And uh, pretty soon here, I think we will uh, start trying to get some of the uh, uh, some of these other genetics in. So let's see, I'm gonna grab the meat and then you can spring up here. And there's a bunny that was get going around over there. Uh, but we'll start trying to get those genetics back in the family. It's probably gonna take us a while because you saw how long it took us the last time to get the good genetics in and the bad genetics out. So these guys now, I'm actually gonna move uh, Rokir over here and I'll move a nut. Anaisis over here, and she can spend the rest of her days helping gather food. And we'll put Coco, I'm gonna move Kirkirvan over here, put Coco in this nest, and Kotaku over here, so that when the time comes, they'll be ready to breed. And that's the rogue male, and let's just take him out so he doesn't cause us any more problems. So we'll go ahead and start a new day. Cora, I am so sorry. If we find a nest, maybe we'll, maybe we'll let her have her baby. I don't know. Cora. Cora. I'm sorry, honey. Um. But yeah, you can... That's a cactus. Never mind. Maybe we'll put him where Cora is sitting. And then... Okay. So we have... Um. Great. This is going to be a long process, isn't it? And you need to make a nest. She only got the saber fangs. So this could be a little bit of a lengthy ordeal. <laughs> I might go on for a bit. So let's see. Make sure we gather, gather, gather. I'm going to have... You can keep gathering. And Kirkirvan can come off this way. Perhaps and search for uh, some food. And then Coco, I'll move up here. Um, Coco, oh no, Coco is supposed to stay there, dang it. Uh, Coco, I will put you back next turn when hopefully you'll be old enough as well. We have a clown koi that we can't actually catch. Uh, that move back off upstream. Come up here. Yes! Uh, I will take that food, thank you. And we'll make sure you can gather a little bit as well. Uh, we'll have you continue. Maybe if you go this way, you can fish. Indeed. There we go. And we'll keep our food up. Uh, you can keep venturing out this way. And we'll go ahead and start a new day, I think. Uh, probably, I'm going to actually bring Roke here this way. And he can kill that crabbit. There we go. Now we'll start a new day. And you should be almost an adult. Okay, it went this way. We're going to gather this. And you... I'll have you... Maybe come kill the bunny? Yep. There we go. And you can come back. After having helped chase it a bit. Uh, on Isis. <laughs> Oh, man. It's going to be difficult to get all three genetics in. With every new um, prehistoric gene, it gets progressively more difficult because you can't mutate them. And uh, they're so, so recessive that it becomes very, very hard. Uh, but we're going to keep trying. And we had... Uh, at least he got the tail. Nukta. 
He'll probably end up being a hunter or something. And we had a Cracker Jaw baby! Kunu! Yay, okay. Uh, so Kunu is a very viable option for the Cracker Jaw, so that at least is a little bit... Uh, we're having a little bit better luck, perhaps. And uh, Kunu, I probably will want to breed when the time comes. Now, Cora, I'm gonna actually have you come over here. And you have horrible movement, but good gathering, so you'll help us there. And we'll continue to explore. And we can, oh, we can also clear away this grass, if I can move the screen right. And... We'll keep going. Alright, uh, Isrila is gonna come this way. And I'm gonna start a new day. And now, Coco is old enough to breed. And I'll put her in this nest for now, and we'll breed them. And start seeing if we can get any of those saber fangs in this time. Who is under attack by carnivore? It's you. Carnivore, really, stop attacking the creatures that have, what, like, eight attack? Yes, eight attack. That is enough to kill you in two hits from full health. Not a wise move on your part, carnivore. And let's come over here. And why is Gills happening so much right now? I I did not approve of this. Uh, too many Gills. Okay, please tell me we have a... Okay. Uh, no, we don't. It's gonna end up... Oh, boy. It's gonna end up being very difficult to get these genetics in the family, I fear. So it might take us some time. <laughs> Uh, if it gets to be too bad, we may have to do some breeding off-screen. Uh, we will see. And, uh, I will continue on this way, so let's see. And we'll repair that next time. You can go along here. Of course, the fish move away. Of course. Um. Yeah, you're not gonna catch those fish. Oh, maybe you will. Okay. There we go. Uh, fish were not lucky. And let's start a new day. Alright, whoa. Okay, so much going on. Um, Aname and Duke... T oh, you guys! To be perfectly honest, I kind of ship it. <laughs> um, kind of. I mean... They're the right genders, and they both have this suddenly appearing head. Oh, if, you know, honestly, if we have time, like, if we have time and resources, maybe we'll breed them and just see what happens. I think, yeah, they even are compatible immunity-wise. <laughs> um, I'm gonna send them into the water, and we'll see. And, uh, Kirkirku, or Kukirku, I can't keep all these names straight, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, after so many generations of creatures, it gets a little confusing. Oh, good grief, Nunu. Um, I'm gonna have him kill both the bunnies, and then Korra can come gather the meat. And we'll make sure... Okay, so Kunu is gonna be on blue, because we definitely want to try and breed him if we can. And we'll move... I'm gonna move Rame this way. And we'll move Duke Nu out this way. Oh, why am I putting the male in the nest? That's not how this works. <laughs> and it didn't work. Come on, there we go. That is the downside of having a slightly lower immunity. See, look at though, look at Maisme. She's so strong with her horns and hammer tail and big body that she can actually attack the berry bushes even though she doesn't have a claw paw. I think that's the first time in, in niche history that we've had this. Well, maybe not her specifically, but with this tribe. Uh, it's it's pretty impressive. We do have that immunity in, right? Yes, the um, A immunity, I mean. So let's come over this way. Hopefully these guys will have had a little bit more luck with the babies. And yeah, no, we haven't, okay. Yes! <gasps> Anarana has at least the um, secondary for all of these, and she has the good hind legs and the good eyes, so, and good uh, fertility. That is excellent. Now, well, how do your genetics compare? 
to they're the same uh, hopefully we can get a male that will have different genetics <laughs> alright let's see so I think we're actually gonna wrap up here because I don't want to break my voice so uh, if you guys did not see uh, see me talking about that I made an uh, update about that today so I explain everything there oh I'm sorry Lagged and I made a bad mistake. I am so sorry. <gasps> yeah. But yeah, so I'm trying not to lose my voice. And I am going to try and avoid that at all costs. So I'm going to wrap up the episode here. But I will see you guys next time. I talked about that in another update video, by the way. Uh, but I will see you guys next time. And until then, this is Jay. Over and out.